Here's a quick SciML fun fact of the day. For those of you working in physics and form neural networks, you know you really don't need to be adding your boundary conditions as, you know, as terms inside your loss function most of the time. I mean, if you know that, for example, you have to regulate boundary conditions, you can construct neural networks for which that is simply true, right? For example, if you need that at the boundaries, you know, at x, at x equals zero, that you have the value zero, and x equals one, you have the value zero, then you can do something like x times x minus one times a neural network output. And this new function is actually guaranteed so that way when x equals a zero, you have zero, when x equals one, you have zero. And so for every possible weight of your neural network, you always guarantee your boundary functions. And so it doesn't actually need to be in your loss function at all. This is actually something that was done before it was called physics informed neural networks. Uh, Lagarce's paper back in 1992 actually had this trick inside of there for uh, making neural networks learn how to solve PDEs. And it's such a big trick, it's such an improvement that it actually re was required back in the day in order to make the training process be fast enough. Um, we kind of, you know, forget to teach this because, you know, you're like, oh, I have a GPU, let me throw it on there and just train the physics informed neural network. But if you try this trick, you'll find that it'll actually converge like 100 times faster. So that's a quick little detail that, you know, if, you, if you're not doing that in your physics informed neural networks, I would highly recommend you do.